Our team's are back, of course, talking FF7, we're talking Rebirth. We have an update for the demo, of course, tomorrow is February 21st, when we're getting the kind of like second part to the demo. We're getting the under Junon area where we can kind of explore a bit and like fight with some of the other party members, etc., etc. Uh, the update that we have, though, is the exact time for when this update is going live. So they dropped this tweet earlier today that says, The Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo update launches tomorrow at 4 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. CET. This unlocks Dawn of a New Era, where you'll be able to experience an open area near Junon and includes content unique to the demo. The update improves visual fidelity and performance mode. So since the update is dropping at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, for me in the Central Time Zone, that'll be about 6 a.m. And those on the East Coast, that'll be about 7 a.m., of course. So pretty much if you live anywhere in the U.S., depending on where you live at, it'll be anywhere from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., depending. It is quite early, obviously, but they're trying to drop it at like a kind of a fair time for everybody, so to speak, right? Because it's going to be like late in Japan. I think it's like 9 p.m. Japan time when this is coming out, some, somewhere around there. And obviously early morning here, it'll be like midday over in like Europe and stuff like that. And it's kind of nice of them for once to give us like a European time for, it's always like West Coast, East Coast, like time zones and shit, generally speaking. It actually gave us like the CET time for once. This demo compared to the one we have currently is going to be significantly shorter because this one can take like two plus hours to beat, right? This one, I don't know the exact time frame on the Under Junon demo, but it's like you walk out of the cave, you get a cutscene, and then you can walk straight to Under Junon, you get another cutscene, and then it's like the bottom swell fight, right? Like, that's kind of it, if I'm not mistaken. You can obviously explore the area, which is what the exciting part is. But yeah, but don't expect this demo to be anywhere near the size of the current one we have. I'm excited though, man, just to get to explore another area for FF7 Rebirth, do a little more combat, get to finally play with Red 13 for the first time, like... The majority of us haven't got to do that unless you've gone to some sort of gaming event or something. I think you can also find like crafting materials around that area. So I don't know if we actually have access to the ability to craft in the demo. Like that'd be kind of cool to experience if we can. I don't know what all we have access to in the menus, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I don't even know if this is going to be any different than the public demo that is out there at the gaming events where like they have the areas locked off, right? There's like a, a part where the Chocobo could climb the wall, but they didn't let you do that at the gaming event. Would they let you do that with this demo? I'm not sure. Most likely that won't be the case, but it would be kind of cool for them to add something new to this for the public demo that everybody has access to. Naturally, here on the channel, we'll do some sort of review type of thing for it. It probably won't be anywhere near the 40-minute review we had for this demo that you're seeing in the background here, but we'll, we'll do what we can. We'll see what kind of content there is to make on this. And as we do, that's the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter at DashDavidYT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more, and nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that like old train. We in here like Rogaine or leave it like Cobain.